Hi, this is Bernardo, and this is my energy audit report. I did my report on a multi-apartment building uh, located in Como Avenue. My unit is a four-bedroom unit with 1,050 square feet. Uh, energy data for this unit was not available, so I used EIA's data um, for the consumption and expenditures in the Midwest region specifically the West North Central region corresponding to Minnesota. And uh, in this region, 2 million small apartment buildings were monitored uh, for a total consumption of 110 trillion BTUs of energy and uh, a per household consumption of 55.9 million BTUs uh, per year. According to this, um, I used uh, the pair square feet uh, value to determine that my apartment consumes 56,000, sorry, 56,700,000 uh, BTUs per year. And uh, this is equal to 16,617 kilowatt hours annually. Compared to uh, other housing units, um, uh, my apartment is a little bit higher than an uh, average small apartment, but uh, is considerably lower than an average household, which is 88 million BTUs consumed per year. I did my kilowatt meter readings on uh, eight different devices. Uh, these devices were a light, a fridge, a coffee maker, a microwave, a TV, a PS3, a computer charger, and a toaster oven. Um, I took the hourly usage of these appliances over a week and uh, averaged this to get uh, the more accurate usage values. Uh, with the kilowatt hour meter readings, um, I created this table and uh, for the microwave TV and PS3, uh, which had vari variable consumption, I averaged the, the values over 20 hour periods. Uh, this provided these values, which uh, added to the averages from the time consumption, um, allowed me to create this table which is the what hour per day consumption uh, of the different appliances. Uh, this gives a total of 690.53 uh, watt hours per day. Um, you see that the phantom power is very small and uh, most of the consumption is on devices that are turned on. Uh, and this adds up, uh, to a total yearly consumption of 288.5 kilowatt hours per year. Uh, with this value of 288.54, uh, compared to the data from EIA, um, we can see a big difference. I think the data from EIA is still more reliable in, in showing me my actual consumption. Uh, I definitely avoided uh, some big consumers within my housing unit, and uh, I also monitored a uh, pretty small range of time. Um, however, I used uh, the EIA data as well as the Minnesota's energy mix to more or less come up with a, a CO2 emissions for uh, this energy impact. And uh, my emissions roughly were 2,458 kilograms of CO2, which is more or less two and a half tons of CO2 per year. Um, and I think this is all I have. This is my references.